good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Today we are focusing on Glorilla, which is a, a sad thing to do, especially on this channel, but... You know, like I said, Glorilla is a very interesting person, just like Christian Rock, just like Sexy Red. This, uh, you know, these ladies here represent what I would call RRC, Ratchet Rap Culture. But, you know, Glorilla is uh, responding to some interesting claims about how she's changed for the better. Okay. Now, I want you to listen to this and I'm going to come back. It's a regular day for, uh, I'm not a regular, but it's a regular day. Anyways, one thing I hate is when people be like, you weren't like that in high school. You was a hope in high school. You had straight A's or you didn't even, you didn't even used to have no J's. You used to be junkie as hell in high school. I didn't have no control over my life in high school. I was a motherfucking kid. I hold my parents control who I was. I have money to buy the motherfucking days. I got them now. Y'all just be joking. They be jealous. Like, how the f you gonna mother judge me off who I was as a kid when I didn't even have my own mind? Talking about a n was a hooper and now he a shooter. Well, maybe he didn't have no because his mom ain't let him have no guns. Play head ball. So, guys, as you heard, she is saying, you know, I was a nerd in school. I did this in school. I did that in school. And you know what? I didn't have no J's in school. Now I'm acting like I'm a thug. I'm acting like this and that. So the parents was trying to raise her in the right way, as it appears. That's what she said. She even talks about how some people, listen to what I'm saying, right? She even makes the case that some guys, you know, became shooters because they didn't have a gun. And, and this is interesting because Michael Irvin just said the same thing about his son, right? He said, my son grew up in a, in a um, gated community and he's rapping about shooting people and all kind of stuff. So you wanted to basically become different from what your parents wanted for you. They didn't have money, but they tried to help you. And you wanted to go out there and thought it up anyway. You wanted to go out there and shoot it up anyway. And that's something that happens in black America. Because black America, as far as our culture, to be a lawyer or doctor, <clears throat> people respect it to a certain degree. But to be like the buffoons is more important. Okay. If you want to be like somebody who don't make no sense, it's more important. If you want to act a complete idiot, it's more important. Be a degenerate. Be a liar. Be a thief. Be a gangbanger. Go out there and twerk while you're pregnant. Anything that looks makes black America look good. And now I got some Jordans. I can afford some Jordans, B. You hear how she's talking? I can afford this, B. And do you know how many people in black America that are educated that follow the role? I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. Lawyers women that are doctors that would that that love glorilla how many ladies when i went to howard university were dating guys in the streets that was on their way to dental school on their way to georgetown to go to law school medical school dating dudes from virginia dc that was in, uh, selling drugs because that's the culture that some of us like they don't want to admit it but then when they say they're looking for a man oh i want a man that go to church jesus I want a man that love God, Jesus. I want a man that's nice and faith. No, 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 no. Now we know what so many people really want. They're making it honest now. they just going to tell the truth. I want somebody who's a shooter, who's a Pookie and Ray Ray. I appreciate Sexy Red and them for saying it because that's what some of them want. They want, they want problems. They don't want peace, but they want problems. I, and I'm here to tell you, you're going to get all the problems that you want. D don't worry about that. You're definitely going to get that. If you don't get nothing else, you're going to get those problems. Trust me. Like my dad used to tell me, son, long as you're black, <laughs> you know, you're going to be worried about X, Y, and Z. And show sure enough, these young ladies out here, you want to deal with the pookies? You want to deal with the Ray Rays? You're going to get exactly what you're looking for. I want to got a song in church that got just what I wanted. You're going to get it. But now just when you get it, long as you stay your ass over there, I don't have no problem with it. I really don't. Keep it over there. Long as you keep it over there, I don't, I don't, I don't give a damn what you do, to be real. I'm going to be honest with you. Keep it over there away from me. I don't care what you do. Destroy your life if you want to. Have fun. God damn it. 
Enjoy yourself. I want you to enjoy yourself with all that stupidity and buffoonery. I want you to have fun. I'm rooting for you. Look, listen, I'm not a hater, okay? Long as you don't bring it over here to Africa where I'm at, I don't give a damn what y'all do. I really don't. I swear to God, in front of 20 white folks, right, look, take it over there. But I don't want you to hear none of y'all talking about, man, where the good black men at? No, 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 no. Oh, no, we don't want to hear that today. No, we don't. Mm -mm. We don't want to hear that. No, we don't. No, we don't. We want you to keep pookieing it up. We rooting for you. Trust me. I think it's beautiful. You want to pookie and ray ray your life up, baby? Please. What? Continue on. Look, you need to continue doing what you've been doing. Pookie and ray ray it all the way up. Long as you do it, you know, over there in your community, wherever the hell you at, baby, look, don't got no problem with it. I, I love that for you. I love it. I want you to do more of it. Please continue to ruin yourself if you want to do that. And as so many people want to give up the bag, look at Tory Lane, for example. I'm not ranching family, but look, 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 this Negro had it made, okay? You're not even from America, bro. You're a Canadian guy. I'm not talking about that Canada dudes are soft. They ain't got no real dudes out there, but you're a Canadian, bro, okay? As a Canadian, you have an advantage to a certain degree um, because you don't have to be in these streets like that. You ain't going to be out here fighting and all this stuff, but you want to do it. You want to be, um, uh, uh, you want to be an idiot. Okay. You want to go out here and do, uh, stupid stuff. Hey, it's, 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 it's okay. So since you want that for yourself, go out there and go to jail, go out there and go to jail, bro. It's okay. Go out there and lose 10 years of your life. Trying to be, a thug trying to be Pookie and Ray Ray. Okay. Go ahead and try to do it. Go ahead. Do that. I get, I think it's wonderful. I think it's great. I think it's all some do it. Okay. I, 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 I think it's great. I want that for you. I really do. I really, really do. Want that for your ass. Okay? I want it for you. I'm praying to God that you get it. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.